entre los mejores de su clase a lo largo de los años. Ahora, Antifla, te invitamos. A... You go, girl. Hello, everyone. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna just start. Time. Time is the continued sequence of existence and events which occur in apparently irreversible succession. Time includes all the moments I pulled on nighters for projects, late afternoons spent at school writing my personal statement, and so much more. Time provided me with the space to create my story. I especially spent so much time this year creating memories with the people I love most. Whether it was tra traveling to Cape Town with my friends or staying after school until staff left, this year especially, I've learned to not just let time pass, but instead cherish every last moment. In middle school, I was known to go home straight after school. I barely hung out with my friends outside of the classroom. However, this changed in high school. As the bonds with my friends grew closer and I met amazing teachers and staff, I decided I no longer wanted to rush home I no longer wanted to waste my time when I could be creating memories, and for that I am grateful. Because of this choice, I created my second home. School became more than just school, it became a place to laugh and chill, while still being held to high standards academically and socially. School became a place where I wanted to go not necessarily for academics, but to spend time with my favorite people. As valedictorian, it's assumed that I spent all my time in high school studying and doing nothing but work, but truthfully, it's what I did other than schoolwork that allowed me to stand on this stage giving this valedictorian speech. Taking advantage of the amazing teachers at APHS, hanging with my friends to celebrate small victories, such as finishing our Change the World presentations, and valuing my time outside of the classroom got me to this point today. This accomplishment was far from easy, considering our class is filled with so many hardworking individuals, and being number one is proof of my, heart, of my work ethic and the impact of the amazing support system. My teachers, friends, and family were my greatest motivators through these past four years. They were the support system who kept me going. Like the great and wise Obafa once said, HPHS became my home. A home filled with people who were able to experience more than just the smart auntie. The comfortable environment at HPHS allowed them to see the goofy and annoying me. And yes, I know I was annoying for Pong when you would lock me out of the main office. <laughs> Being able to openly express myself without judgment paved the way for me to become a policy finalist and receiving a Fulbright scholarship to Johns Hopkins University. You go, girl! You did it! You go, girl! Yes, yes, yes! You did it, girl! We're so proud of you! Wow! Mommy's proud of you, baby! My time at HPHS is filled with memories of Barter and Danny and Stasta and Al, going on quote-unquote bathroom breaks to hang with Matheson and Rod, staring at Davis and Spence, annoying Miss Man with my Chain the World project, and so many other memories with Fifi Jones and my amazing friends, Clark, Asia, Obapa, Storm, Regina, and Jara. So at, this so as this time comes to a close today, as we spend our final moments together as a class, it's imperative that you take full advantage of your time. Take a second, look around, soak it up. Make memories because although this day couldn't have come soon enough, in the future, I know we will look back and realize it was just a small blip that we miss oh so much. Like I tell my mother, don't waste your time doing nothing but work to create, a don't waste your time doing nothing but work. Create everlasting memories. Yes, you did. you want to see and most importantly, be the best you. The time I spent at DP is just a part of my story. The story of a girl from immigrant parents who came, conquered, and will continue to conquer in her future life and memory. You talk Future me and all of you, we made it. Class of 2022, your valedictorian clocking out. Yeah. Yeah.